Fighting crime will be one of the biggest issues facing Philadelphia's next mayor. Candidates have less than six weeks now to convince voters they are the one for the job. And we can tell that things are getting busier on the mm -hmm. campaign trail. NBC 10's Lauren Make was at three different candidate events today, and she joins us now with more. Yeah, guys, definitely getting a little bit busier mm -hmm. out there today. Two of these candidates, they were picking up endorsements today. Another, Helen Gim, introduced a policy plan that is rooted in her experience in education. The question now, what will voters use to make their decision? I will lead a budget that prioritizes and actually invests in schools. Helen Gim today introducing her plan for schools in Philadelphia if she's elected the city's 100th mayor, leaning into her experience as a community organizer and a teacher in her pitch for the city's top job. You have a mayor standing before you who has lived and breathed this work alongside of communities that have only become more powerful over the last 20 years. The former council member was joined today by teachers, parents, students, and advocates outside Steele Elementary as she introduced a plan that includes investing at least $10 billion over 10 years, longer than two terms as mayor, and fully staffing libraries at every school and guaranteeing jobs and work experience for every young person. How do you guarantee a job for every young person and how quickly can you do that? Yeah, well, I think we can get started for on. Certainly for me, I want to get started for this first summer because we're always behind. Um, one, I think it starts with concentrating. Like there are certain areas, neighborhoods, communities, and individuals that we are going to focus all attention on. Gim's policy announcement comes with less than six weeks to go in the primary race. It includes a field of 11 Democrats vying for the job of mayor. Today, some of her competitors picking up endorsements to set them apart in the race. The IATSE union that represents stage employees, movie technicians, and others endorsing candidate Jeff Brown. Jeff's background investing in the inner city with the supermarkets and, and bringing union jobs to, to an area where he probably didn't have to bring them was telling. But the, but the real issue for us was, was uh, his participation on the Pennsylvania Convention Center uh, board. And just recently, uh, we have extended that agreement at the Pennsylvania Convention Center twice. And Jeff Brown voted twice to extend that agreement. Union President Michael Barnes. Was it close this time? It was very close. Can you tell me who, who came in second? Uh, at this point, I think this is jo uh, Jeff Brown's day, and we want to focus on Jeff Brown, none of the other candidates. And in West Philadelphia, candidate Sherelle Parker now getting the backing of local political leaders, State Representative Morgan Cephas, State Senator Vincent Hughes. She knows Harrisburg. This city's success is directly tied to Harrisburg and the state capitol. And council member Curtis Jones, who's worked with at least half the candidates running. She's authentic. And it's time in this city for the 100th mayor to have experience. They should not be an experiment. Now, the union endorsements some candidates are picking up, and all three of the candidates we saw today do have them. They can help candidates in a number of ways, including financially, boots on the ground to knock on doors and pass out flyers, and, of course, votes from the members who live in the city. Coming up in our 5 o'clock hour, some numbers that give us insight into who you may hear from in the final weeks of the campaign. Tracy? I know, we'll be hearing from a lot of them. Thanks, Lauren. NBC10 has extensive coverage of the mayor's race and the candidates. You can read up on the mayor race before Election Day at NBC10.com slash Philly Mayor.